here. Um, I love to make videos about lifestyle, luxury, and all things that I think are interesting. So for today's video, I think I want to make a video about um, luxury items that I think we should all have. I feel like this community on YouTube normally makes you feel like you're missing out if you don't have the latest thing, but I honestly think that you only need the essentials. I feel like you should not have a huge collection of luxury goods. I feel like they're unnecessary and two, they're expensive. So why just have the essentials that you need when you can, you know, save that money and use it for something else like a trip or traveling, buying a house, buying more clothes, something that, that you want. I'm going to split this up into five different categories. One being handbags, two being shoes, three being wallets, four being outerwear, and five being miscellaneous things that you might need. But yeah, guys, let's get started. So first off is wallets. Um, I feel like wallets from Louis Vuitton, Gucci, brands like that are so expensive. You don't need a full envelope um, wallet if you, let's say, just carry around a little wallet with like your keys, your bare minimum um, stuff that you need. I personally am someone who does not like envelope um, wallets. I normally just carry a quick um, card holder and then I'm out the door. But you know, we all have um, those times when we want an actual full um, envelope wallet which um, I do have one but it's not um, something that I feel like everybody has it's something different so first up would be my Burberry wallet this is actually a great um, option for someone who wants to have um, a luxury option but also something that's a little bit more understated um, I love the fact that this is very um, you know very smooth to the touch it's you can actually use this as a, as a clutch if you wanted to um, it holds a lot of different um, cards in here it has a lot of different slots I typically just use this for like my backup cards at home. I leave it in the drawer, I forget about it, and I just have my most important documents in here. I also love the fact that you can fit cash and also you can also fit um, checks or even checkbooks, um, which is great. So right here I have like some little extra miscellaneous cards that I normally don't typically use. But as you can see, it has room for up to eight cards, which I love. I feel like we all have like those extra cards that we don't know what to do with. Um, it's very comfortable. It's very um, smooth. The leather is very, very smooth and worn in. It has the zipper wallet where I have a few. And I'm someone who doesn't carry a lot of cash, but I do like the option of having um, cash at home. So I do have this little um, pouch full of, you know, like singles and small, smaller change that I might need in the future. Again, this is from Burberry. It's very understated. I feel like this is also a dupe for um, Hermes. I feel like it does have an Hermes vibe to it, and I actually love that. Um, it's not, you know, an extremely expensive wallet. I feel like this runs for about $300 at Burberry, and they do have sales. It's actually one of the few fashion houses that actually does have annual sales towards the end of the year. So I think it's a great time to take advantage of that. Like I said, um, it holds enough room for cash, your card, and also for a checkbook. I have a quick little checkbook here. Um, normally, you don't really write checks that often, but you know, you never know when you might need to hand one over for like a birthday or like paying a bill or something. But yeah, this is the little um, emblem inside of here. Um, it's very understated. It's not super flashy. I feel, I feel like, like this is a great option for someone who doesn't really like flashy, you know, luxury wear, which is definitely something that I um, sometimes am in the mood for. Um, it's definitely super comfortable. It fits great in your bag. I feel like this pretty much fits in any single bag. It's not too heavy when you fill it up. So. I think this is a great alternative to those Louis Vuitton zippy uh, wallets that are from Louis Vuitton or even like Chanel has like those little flap ones that are extremely expensive. I feel like this would make a great um, gift for someone who, you know, just wants something low key and something handy for them to carry around. Up next, I have um, a little card holder that I literally carry with me at all times. It's the little Gucci Marmont um, card holder. This holds about four cards and then it also has a little um, middle compartment here to add in cash or like a couple coins or even like extra cards if you want. Um, this runs for about $250. I know that if you buy it on Fashion File and um, The Real Real, I feel like they go down to up to $200, which isn't still a, a bad price. I've had this for about um, a year, I want to say, and it's held up pretty well. The, it's pretty much lambskin, so you do want to be a little bit careful when um, handling it because it, it does scratch easily. But other than that, I feel like it looks brand new. The little GG emblem is pretty much just gold brass on there. It's very comfortable. It's very nice. It's very sturdy. Um, it doesn't expand that much, so I wouldn't, you know, overstuff this with cards. But it's awesome for, you know, if you just want to grab something to go. It's pretty easy to just, you know, put in your debit card, your credit card, and your license, which is what I have here in my insurance card. And I'm pretty much just ready to go out whenever I need it. It's very compact. It's very useful. I feel like a lot of us have this, and it's for good reason because it is very um, 
compact and it is very um, very practical for day to day and of course it fits in any single bag it'll fit in a clutch it'll fit in like a small little um, crossbody bag it's great for that too so an option that I think is great for some of us that don't want to spend money at all times for a wallet or something like that or small other good pretty much from any um, higher end brand I feel like repurposed um products are great i found this little one from um, an instagram boutique online i think it's a great option because first of all you get the feel of it being an actual louis vuitton um, canvas and it's also very practical because it's also cheaper and two it's very compact so this is a little wallet that i bought online basically this runs for a hundred dollars i feel like this is pretty similar to like the smaller slgs that louis vuitton has it's great because it's a card holder and it just has a little um, snap here in the front and it pretty much just holds all your cards for you. I feel like this is a great option for um, those of us that want to spend less than like, let's say $200 for something that pretty much you can't find in stores. I'll tag her stuff below and I think she has really cool stuff. She also has um, luggage tags. She has um, a few pop sockets. She has brands like Fendi, Gucci and Louis Vuitton and Chanel. She, she makes these awesome um, Chanel earrings out of buttons from Chanel jackets. I think that's a, such a creative idea. It's great because I feel like now you're seeing a lot of um, repurposed brands and businesses online that basically just buy old um, merchandise and pretty much just create something new out of it. And I think it's a great option. You're actually getting Louis Vuitton canvas on here. And I think that $100 is pretty hard to beat. I feel like whenever I carry this, it's pretty cool because I feel like I'm actually carrying a full on um, Louis Vuitton item. So it's great for that. Like I said, it's pretty much just a card holder. It holds about right now. I just have my IDs and a couple um, work related um, IDs that I have to carry around and it's pretty easy. I feel like this would also be great to just carry in like things like AirPods, your gum, cash even. I think it's pretty much a, a wallet. So, you know, you can't beat that. But again, um, definitely look online to see what repurposed businesses there are because I feel like they're up and coming and you should um, get, get on that right now because the prices aren't beatable. But yeah, this is a little Louis Vuitton um, wallet that was pretty much just an old, never full. So up next, I want to talk about shoes. I feel like everyone on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, whatever, um, has red bottoms or Louis Vuitton shoes. Those are the most uncomfortable shoes on the planet and I feel like you should not be wasting your money on <laughs> multiple pairs. I personally just have one pair that I use. I feel like when you buy these shoes, you pretty much want to wear um, you know, the heck out of them just so that you can get your money's worth. I have uh, a pair of black suede ones that are honestly just great for like parties, events, things like that. I sometimes wear these to work events too. Um, it pretty much just gets the, you know, the FOMO out of you to just have a pair. I feel like if you're going to buy a pair of Louboutins, they should be classic pairs. They shouldn't be, um, you know, those outrageous colors with like spikes and things like that. Of course, if you want to buy that, go ahead. But for me, I'm someone who's pretty, you know, practical and I, sh I don't like to spend my money on things I don't use. So basically I have these shoes. So um, these are the, let me find the box. These are the Delco, I'm gonna totally mispronounce this, I'm so sorry. Delco Tish 100 um, Velour shoes. Um, I bought these in a size eight. Um, they do run true to size sometimes. These in particular still fit me pretty small. Um, I should have sized up to an eight and a half but they're very comfortable. Um, they do um, have a high arch, but I think that, you know, for someone who's pretty used to walking in heels, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I'm so sorry, mine are a little bit dirty because I did wear them a lot, like in the last few months, but um, you can't go wrong with a pair of black um, heels or nude heels. Um, I specifically have the velour ones, but I feel like you should go with patent leather or even just plain leather because these do collect a lot of dust. So I do have to, you know, pass a lint roller on them a lot, but they are very pretty to look at. Um, the heel has a little bit of a curve here that sometimes is a little uncomfortable, but you know, you get used to it once your feet are in it. Um, honestly, like don't spend your money on these shoes because they are very uncomfortable and they're not practical at all. I feel like the classic lines are pretty manageable to wear, but aside from that, don't pay over like $600 for these shoes. Sometimes they do go on sale at like Neiman Marcus or even Bloomingdale. So be on the lookout for that. If I even find some online that are on sale, I'll look for them. Um, they look very nice with everything and I can't recommend them enough. I feel like you should also invest in either a nude pair or um, a black pair. But yeah, this is basically just the only Louis Vuitton item that you should get. Next, I have a shoe that I feel like everyone should have, whether it's a dupe or the actual shoes itself. It's the um, Stuart Weitzman with no surprise, um, the Highland boot. 
these come in two different styles that I think you should consider either the Highland which is a little bit more of a curved heel or the Highline which is the actual one with the chunky um, heel these are so comfortable and versatile that I pretty much wear this year around. I think they make you look you know put together and well dressed um, so another item that I think is important to have in your wardrobe is the Neverfull or any sort of tote bag from Louis Vuitton or any other luxury bag I feel like these are very versatile they carry everything that you might ever need an organizer and you can definitely organize your bag and you know not have it a mess like I do um, very comfortable on the shoulder I feel like everyone has this for a good reason they're super lightweight very compact the design is always very pretty um, I feel like these bags always go up in price because they're in high demand definitely look into um, secondhand or even um, rental options for these bags are always cheaper online i feel like the cheapest that i've seen was about like 900 dollars. it does come with an extra pouch i feel like it's awesome because you get a two for one almost deal on this um you get you can use this as like a clutch or even just like as an evening bag if you want to just get something even if you just want to get something quick and easy to just leave the house it's a great option again it's run it runs for about 1400 dollars. the prices go up every single year so just make sure that you are aware of that but yeah definitely an essential in your wardrobe one thing i wanted to talk about too that is also a good investment piece to have is also a good coat um, i feel like the top brands right now are montclair um canada goose macage i feel like for me i have the canada goose i feel like it's a great winter coat it definitely keeps you warm it's definitely worth the price um, i do think it's an investment but it's well worth it um, you will get so many uses out of this i feel like um i've had this for this I had this for this past winter and I can't tell you enough how comfortable and warm it is. I commute to my work about 30 minutes walking every single day. Um, it definitely kept me warm. I think other great brands to um, invest in is either Montclair or Macage. I feel like they make great coats as well. I feel like even North Face is a great alternative too if you want like a cheaper one, but definitely think, but look into um, buying Canada Goose brand um, coats because they're definitely because they're very warm and very useful and practical. So I wanted to throw in something random and miscellaneous. So I am someone who loses my sunglasses all the time. So you will not catch me buying expensive um, sunglasses. So I chose an alternative and basically bought expensive eyeglasses. So I typically wear contacts on the day to day, but I also wear my glasses at the end of the night whenever I take the contacts off. I recommend buying designer glasses because one, they do last a long time and two, um, they do keep their worth up and you can resell them if you want. I've had these specific ones for so long. I've had them for about, I think, four years and they basically have used with me for the last four years and I can't, you know, complain about them. They're very cool. They're very um, different. These are Gucci ones. I will definitely link these down below and see if I can find some online. I know that with these glasses, you can um, resell them online without the lenses, which is great. Let's say you want to buy a pair of like Chanel glasses, but don't want to spend the price. You can just, you know, take the frames to your eye doctor and they'll replace the lens for you, which is great. Okay guys, so that's it for my video today. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please like and subscribe down below and let me know if you like any or even have any of these. But yeah guys, I hope everyone's staying safe and sound during these quarantine times and I will catch you on my next one. Bye.